Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, join me sat in the roasting living room. The fire is banging out loads of heat, which is nice because it's freezing outside, outside this time of year. Um, a boring review. I'm going to do a series of these reviews about some of the kit I use that um, I like or dislike. Usually if I use it myself, I probably like it. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't use it. But today's video is on the Phantom HMS by DMM, a relatively new carabiner which replaced like a classic design which I really liked which was the DMM Sentinel so I must admit I was a bit sad which shows how geeky I am uh, that they stopped making these and have replaced them with these um, DMM Phantom HMSs. Now there is a little competition on this video it could be you winning a DMM Phantom HMS uh, all you've got to do is comment below with how many times I say the word Phantom during this video it's probably going to be quite a lot Comment below and then uh, with that number, the closing dates are 23rd of October, so that's next Friday. Um, and on that day, I will pick at random someone who's got the right answer and I will be in touch uh, and that could be winging its way to you. So count the words phantom right till the end, all right? Good. So there's a few carabiners I have on my harness. So it's traditionally a Sentinel, all by DMM. Sentinel, which was like 54 grams, told you it was geeky. A big boa, which is more like 90, uh, something like that. I can't actually remember what it was, but it's quite a lot. It's quite heavy. And then the Phantom D-shaped one, which is 40-something grams. So it's pretty light, pretty small. Now, with these little Phantoms, you can bang a clove hitch into one, which is great. But they really, I'll snug that up for a second, they really can't take a second one. So that's fine, that's not really what it's for, but you can see it's really struggling to even close that, so I won't even bother putting that in, you get the idea. So that's where these Sentinels came in, because uh, they're quite sort of versatile carabiners. Now this, jo uh, this joke, this rope is a Beal Joker, which is 9.1, and if I pull two clovitches sort of snug and neat there, they do sit in there, but as you can see, only just, this is a 9.1 like I said, so if you're using half ropes, you know, it might be better off. But certainly with a rope chunkier than that, it's a real struggle to fit two clove hitches in so they're not pressing on the gate and everything, which we don't like. With the newer um, Phantom HMS uh, that I threw over there, same rope obviously, same clove hitches, a bit more space in the end. Uh, so actually, I think it's probably a bit more of a versatile carabiner. That's certainly what I found uh, from using it. Now. 9.1 you can go a bit fatter and they still won't be touching the gate with the big old boa I always carry one of these whether I'm at work or, or playing I always carry this because it's just great to bang you know you could a chunkier rope and you can still get a couple of clove hitches in there no problem at all but it is big and bulky so I don't want to carry many of them it's only ever one that goes on my harness the obvious competitor that you'll see a lot of, they're usually the kind of um, a bronzy colours, this Petzl Attaché. It is pretty much exactly the same weight as this DMM Phantom. It's pretty much the same price. There's not really a lot of difference from it. Um, the gate opening is, is much the same as well. You've got a similar amount of space to play with when you're doing that. It really is hard to differentiate them. One feature I do like of the Petzl one is this red bit that's on the, on the gate and I kind of like that because it's just a nice little memory jog especially for beginners when we're working uh, teaching that you can just visually see really easily that it's uh, undone and spin it shut it's actually quite hard to tell with a quick glance at some carabiners whether they are done up or not and you can see that but others it's a bit harder but I do like that red bit so we haven't got that but it's a good little carabiner. I find uh, it's really wide. It's wider than the, the Sentinel. It is like two grams heavier than the old Sentinel. But for me, the sort of payoff of the extra width is a bit of a no brainer. So as I either lose or they get uh, beyond their use by date uh, on my harness, I will be replacing them with those. Um, so actually, I said I was sad about them stopping these. Having used these quite a bit now, I'm not sad at all. Sentinels are still really nice. But these are a bit nicer, I think. On my belay plate, I find they sit quite nicely. Uh, I found the Sentinel sort of had a, um, a propensity to spin round a bit. Uh, this obviously still can, it's not got any catch on it or anything. But I do find they stay a bit nicer and there's a bit more room if you're belaying on two ropes uh, for it to move around nicely. So I'm a bit of a fan of it to be honest. So comment below with uh, how many times you've counted that I've said the word Phantom and that uh, could be you winning that one there. Um, 
They're on offer as well at Alpine Trek at the moment, I think £12.50 instead of about 14 so if you want to buy any, click the link below that I'll put on there. Do fire away with any questions as usual on all this kit stuff. What I carry on my rack now is, I carry a big boa, I'm not really going to stop carrying one of those because I like it. I carry one of these uh, on my belay plate, one of them separate and then a small phantom as well so I have, end up having four screw gates on my personal rack. Pretty lightweight. Does lightweight matter? You know, probably not realistically at the grades I'm climbing, but it's always nicer to be more comfortable and anything that stops my harness getting pulled down throughout the day has got to be a bit of a bonus. All right. Find us on Insta, find us on Facebook, give us a like or a follow on those two, that's massively appreciated. Click the like button, smash the subscribe button, remember to count those words uh, phantom and put the comment below. Thanks again for watching, more videos coming up very soon.